Namaste, so healers, and welcome to the new Super Scope Weekly Report. My name is Christopher Ray Manwateki. I am a modern mystic and a soul biographer, and I'm here to help you put the pieces of your story together and help you put the steps in order. In fact, that's the difference between me. I'm a modern mystic. I take a lot of different disciplines from the universe and help them arrange them into practical steps to your prosperity. That's what these are, steps to your prosperity. And in the steps to your prosperity, did you know that the Virgos or the Virgo Risings participate in the very last step, step 11. Step 11 is when it becomes heaven, is in step 11. That's when the one attracts the one, and that's what the law of attraction is about, right? Uh, the law of tra attracting the other one. So in the step 11, you're always trying to perfect yourself so that you can have something perfect manifest in your life. And step 11s are obsessed with 1111, when perfection attracts perfection, right? But the truth is, is perfection is integrity of the one, yourself. And as long as you're in integrity, which means that you're being honest about who you are, that strengths and limitations, then you'll always have and attract the, the equal, whether it's in something you're manifesting, a child, a job, or of course, the greatest thing, love on earth, right? So what are the Step 11s working on this week? Well, what you're working on is something very important. It is actually love. Step 11s are stepping into love or not, and this is a journey that you've been working on for about five years, and even if you've drawn love into your life as far as a partnership, a lot of the Step 11s I know have not really stepped into the intimacy of the love yet, 100%. And so it's about your creativity, your inspiration, your light casting, your art, your expression, and really joy. That's what we're going to decide this week. You're going to decide if you want joy or not. And joy is a lifestyle. It is not a destination. It's a way you live in the moment. To live in joy or not to live in joy is a person's choice, really. And so that will be your choice this week, and you will have to make that choice. And something in your life will probably manifest in front of you that is a symbol of that choice. This is true for Step 11 rising signs, too. So if you have a Virgo rising, this is all true as well. So let's take a look at the week and what's going to really happen, shall we? Whoops. Take a step back. For one, on Monday, well, basically Sunday through Monday and Tuesday, it's a very career-based time for you. So emotions will be focused on career, legacy, decisions of the future. And in the background, you're deciding really if you're going to follow your heart or not. So on Monday to Tuesday, there's a quantum shift in your feelings about all these things. And the quantum shift in your feelings expand on Tuesday. And this leads to Wednesday having a, a shift in your awareness. Now, the moon will begin to go full in Cancer at that point, which will be the opposite of where the sun is. And that means you're going to be very emotionally sensitive about your place in the world, really, uh, through Wednesday. So that sensitivity, that full moon sensitivity, is your really your last chance to let go of the false attachments you have to things in the world that your heart doesn't want. To let go of the things your heart doesn't want which is really hard because sometimes your ego wants it, sometimes your mind wants it, sometimes you want to prove to your parents you were right. And all those things are not the right reason to have something in your life. The right reason is because your heart wants it so much. That's it. And it's hard to let go. And see, one of the things with that 11 is you're an 11. So there's always 11 places you can, things you can do, 11 things you're thinking of at one time. The, the step 11s are the most complicated and heavy, heaviest on the earth. You're actually two Leos in one. A one is a Leo. So two Leos and one makes a Virgo. Who knew that two stars would make Earth? Interesting, huh? So on Thursday, God speaks to the Step 11s and says, What does your heart want, child? And you have to answer, you know, da-da-da, the truth, whatever the truth is. And this leads to the final decision, which is on Friday. You're going to have to make a decision on Friday. Um, and that decision is to commit to something your heart wants inside of you. Now the moon will be in Leo, so committing will be easier than usual, and the moon will be filling you with spirit and inspiration. So the universe is doing, frankly, everything it can do to help out the virgins uh, in this particular matter, because the moon will move out of public and into privacy. So I think Thursday and Friday will be very private, Friday particularly, and as you make some sort of decision, it's a private decision. On Saturday, you take action on that decision. Now this week is all about discovering what your heart really wants, deciding what your heart really wants, committing to what your heart wants, and going for it in one week. All right, There's no time to waste or lose, and this is something you've been working on for mm, since 2010, frankly. So four years of work, hard work and determination. So let's look at how this affects our uh, Project Plur. And Plur, of course, is how I'm organizing scopes now, powered by peace, love, unity, and respect. And I'm actually mapping this out in a cool way now. 
Now, when it comes to the inner peace, I think that the Virgos and the Step 11s will have a lot of anxiety inside. That's because you're having to innovate your trust in yourself as you shift everything around and really uh, either get serious or not serious about being there for your own heart. So I think there's going to be a lot of innerverse disharmony. In the outerverse, I think you're going to come off as spaced out and cloudy and hard to get to. I know my virgins, and that's how you guys get distant. Distant and cloudy, I think, and so it'll be difficult to determine if you're in peace or not. When it comes to the inner love, I do think that the virgins are loving themselves in a good way, and you have to. You have to be in love with yourself. Remember, you're two Leos in one. So you have to love yourself in a super way, and I think you're going to be feeling that love. In the outer verse, I think you're going to look pensive. I think people aren't going to know what you're thinking. I think everyone's going to not know if you love yourself or not. So you probably put out a pensive look to the world. Now looking at that inner unity, I think that it's kind of a kind of a crazy ride, and you're trying to keep it together, but it's rather passionate, and maybe you are feeling a bit of a, of a ride. So the inner verse is feeling a little bit... Um, bloated, <laughs> and perhaps there are some issues with digestion. In the outer verse, again, I think you're looking as a poker player. Uh, all, you're not letting it be shown that you're not holding unity. Um, again, you're having to innovate your personal trust. You're, the full moon is calling for you to release your attachments to stuff in the outer world, so you might have to save face there. So in all that stuff, I think your outer verse unity is just showing integrity, but nothing else. In the inner respect department, I think that the Virgos and Virgo Risings are really feeling respect for themselves in the universe, especially if they listen to their heart. This is about gambling past all the details and saying, hey, am I willing to gamble on my dreams and my heart right now? Am I? And I think if you are, you will find that you respect yourself incredibly. If you don't gamble on your heart, you're not going to respect yourself in the morning. And lastly, womp womp. When it comes to outer world respect, well, I think the world is actually respecting you to a celebrity degree. Most Virgos I see are manifesting really quite brilliantly. They're pretty much holding it all together. And no matter what you feel in the inner verse, the outer verse is showing that you're a star. Okay, so don't sweat it, girls. And if there's any guys watching, don't sweat it, dudes. So at the end of the day, it's all about that outer inner verse that leads to the outer verse. So a couple little points I want to point out. One is that as of March 1st, I will not be doing readings for the public anymore. This is due to some fantastic opportunity that's come my way. But I will be here with the scopes. Don't worry about that. But if you wanted a one-on-one -on -one reading with me this year, you might want to get it now. I've got a special for $99. You'll get a one hour plus a 30-minute free follow-up in the year, and I will honor it. I'm just learning to shift things now and telling people things ahead of time. And if you want to be a part of something else new that I'm launching, I've created something called GA Venus. This is a consumer protection agent for women and an empowerment network for women. So I want to help the women. And so if you're a Step 11 girl and you want a free week and try this out, you get videos, all sorts of great stuff, come on down to gavenus.com, sign up. You'll get a free week starting uh, after this weekend. That should be fun. And then lastly, for simplicity, uh, we now have all of our content at soulmart.me. So you can see Dear Zen and Magic Mist and Medicine with Master One Feather and Introducing Carolyn Mayberry and all these great people and more are coming to help you step into your power. They're also being included in the GA Venus, Venus Network at times. Uh, so come on down to soulmart.me. If you want to see your horoscope, it's there. If you want to leave comments, it's there. If you want anything uh, for service and help, we're there. We're here to help. And we are converting Soulmart to a nonprofit. So this will be a nonprofit when we're in through our transition. So this is our goodwill to the world, soulmart.me. All right, my Step 11s, I hope you're in heaven. I'll see you in seven days. Uh, and until then, live, love, and let be, my friend.